Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while and uh, there's a good reason for that. I've been pretty busy and I've been working out things in my life. I've had surgery. I've done lots of stuff. I have come to the conclusion that emulators are not worth really covering much anymore unless it's about mods and major performance improvements. And Rayajinx has gotten a ton of performance improvements that I haven't covered. They're all Xenoblade Chronicles 3, 2, 1, and Pokemon related, which is really nice. Super Mario Odyssey related, so if you want to go check that out, uh, go download the latest master. You'll find a major imp performance improvement over what came before. No, what we're here talking about today is I've been taking these random vault projects and I've been converting them to ray tracing projects. And honestly, uh, it's been fun. We're going to show in folder because I have actually saved befores for some of these and afters. And it's been really fun because right now my backup drive's like, I hate you. I tried to unload a whole bunch of stuff inside of uh, Pokemon Violet to try to get some information on the camera and other things. And it did not, it did not work out at all. So there's that. So... Uh, here's before. This is the project. It's the subway scene. It's uh, it's actually really good. Very realistic. The problem is they got the materials all wrong, and everything like that. And this is not bad. Screen space ambient uh, occlusion up there in the top, as you can clearly see. And I'm gonna turn my mouse on. Sorry about that. So up here, fake reflections is like to call them. Uh, fake lighting. You know, you had to put fake reflections and metallic materials. The windows do not reflect anything at all. It's just, it's what you would get in Unreal Engine 4 with ray tracing off, okay? And I'm going to zoom out. Can I zoom out? I can't. Okay, we're going to use this one instead. Right here. Because there are actually some differences. Um, so here's what I did. You can see in the mirrors that there are reflections. You can see there's light bounce here. Uh, I edit the floor material because honestly, I've been on a subway before and it was, it does have some sheen and some shine to it. So that matters. I changed the pole to a different type of material. As you can see, it's a little bit dirtier. It has more metallic feel to it. Uh, we would actually have to go in and take a look at it, but you can see the reflections are real now. The light bounce is correct. And I enjoyed making this like crazy. This was actually fun converting this project. And then if we go in here and if we head in, not to source control, but the screenshots, um, I also converted this one over to ray tracing because I have a 3070 now and I'm having loads of fun with it. So we're going to go in these levels once they're done loading up. And I'm actually going to show these off to you because it's definitely worth it. It's fun. Um, so here's the first one. I don't have a before of this, but it used, it, it used screen space. Uh, actually, no, this one used planar reflections, which is kind of similar, but it doesn't look as good. So as you can see, the reflections over here are correct and they are pretty much reflecting everything they should. The lily pads are being reflected, the, the grass, it, the sky, you could see the certain clouds up there. It looks great, and in here, the shadowing and the lighting and the light bounds is all correct. It's nice, and uh, here's the grass. The resolution, as you can see, was quite weird. I managed to fix that later on in the subway soon. So uh, when we boot up this project, I might correct that. He had the, this material all incorrect. No matter how rusted something gets, okay, you'll always have a little bit of sheen to it. I will need to add a little bit of uh, little speckles of rust in here, but other than that, it looks it looks pretty good. And as you can see inside, it's occluded from light, so it's properly shaded inside. It looks really good. Um, the stairway, there's occlusion from light as well. And underneath all of these trees and stuff, except for off in the distance, as you can see, these material, these these foliages were not designed properly, but I made it work. And then this, this is what I'm most proud of. This looks absolutely stunning. Now, here's the thing. Uh, we need to head to my Discord for a second so I can show you the other two, I believe. I got another one. 
Um, this is all natural lighting bleeding through. As you can see it's coming through the windows here. And I never really do much with this one. But uh, we all know what Edith Finch is, I believe. Uh, it's a game. And um, if I search Finch in here, I think it's going to pop up. Eddie's room, house. I need the first floor. Where's the first floor? Oh, I also did some Hellblade stuff on my laptop. So this one right here. Um, nope, I actually want to go inside with this stuff. Right? And it had all this fake lighting inside. It didn't really look that good. And I believe I have it on Gilded. Because I've been looking to switching towards Gilded for everything. And I do not want to be showing that. That was something I was looking into to make sure it's alive. This is Gilded. It's like, it's like Discord, but way cooler. We have a dedicated media channel I've been filling up. This is all natural lighting due to ray tracing. There's light bounce. There's everything. You can see there's colors over here. It's just the room is being filled with color. It is so nice to be able to do this. And look at the subtle reflections in the ground and everything. Uh, there was reflections in the TV. This is on my laptop, so I can't really show you fully, but... This is what it looks like filled with fog, because as you know, when light goes through fog and it emits itself, it becomes emissive and it just fills every area with light and it's absolutely beautiful. I changed these curtains. They were emissive, so they were faking the light coming through. I changed it to a two-sided material and the light just came through naturally. So it's really, really cool. I enjoy uh, converting things, right? So let's jump in here. And once it's open, I'll get back here to you guys. Now, I'm warning you, this might not be as smooth as you think it's going to be. I do have the camera slowed down a lot, so we're going to speed that up to at least three. The reason it's not going to be smooth is I don't want encoding overload to happen because I want this video to be as smooth as possible for you. But here's the project in real time. Let's go over the changes I've made in real time. First. We changed it so it has actual natural reflections on the windows. As it gets to you, they're still dirty as hell, but it works. Next is these seats. They're made out of plastic, but they had no sheen to them. And they didn't look like plastic. They look like, I don't know, they just look like trash. And it didn't work out very well. So I had to change this. I had a little bit of metallic feel to it and a little bit more roughness. Uh, these objects didn't originally look metallic as you saw so we added a little bit more metallic to them and yeah we increased the the roughness a bit look at the uh look look at that look at that reflection that's so cool all of these ads were flat and boring and lifeless so i added a little bit of roughness to it of course and a little bit of metallic and it worked and this wood structure as well uh we also added, I also added a bit to that as well. Now, you can see that this light is doing its thing. It's bouncing all around the room, which is nice. And I, I changed this one to be orange just to show you how that would work out. And it, it really does do really well. These are real time reflections. So if I put people in here, you'd see people, but I don't have no people. And this, this is an emissive. An example of an emissive uh, thing going on, and it's casting light, which is really nice. And not only that, but it's casting light on the reflections. As you can see, you can see the noise outside. There's nothing out here, it's just an empty void. And if we go on the back end, there's a light right here, and it's casting all over the front. And you can see there's orange light down here on the bottom, which means this is casting light as well. So, yeah, we, I, I, I ended up completely transforming this into something that looked dull and not very good into something that looked next gen. I would like to consider this next gen, but I don't know. Uh, the reflections are not very highly detailed when it comes to that little thing over there, but it works nonetheless. So, I want to record 
me converting a whole project into ray tracing. Is this something you guys would like to see? Would you guys like to learn how to convert your original project into something with ray trace lighting, uh, reflective emissive materials with light bounce and everything like that? If you would comment or hit the like button and subscribe for further videos on that because I'm really, really interested in doing this. Anyway, with that, I'm off. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to be jumping back into Unreal Engine 5 a lot because there's a lot of things I want to do.